Hello and welcome to JustCompareCars.com My name is James and today I'm going to be doing a walk around video of this 2019 Amarok It's a V6 TDI Highline 4 Motion It's done 74,000 miles and it's got full service history Okay, so we've been doing these walk around videos for quite a while now and we find them to be really popular mainly because it means you get to view the vehicle from the safety and comfort of your own home but as if you were here in person with me today as I go around the vehicle with you, uh, we'll look at all the panels individually, looking for any marks, any scratches or any dints. We'll look at the wheels and the tyres, we'll have a look in the back, then we'll have a look inside, looking at the seats, the functionality, I'll even tell you what it smells like inside. Once I've done that, we'll pop the bonnet, have a look at the engine, and then finally we'll have a look underneath at the underside of the engine, the chassis and of course the spare wheel. Now, once you've watched the video, if you're happy with what you see and you want to buy it, a small deposit will secure it, and we can pretty much deliver it where you need it to be. If you're looking to finance a vehicle an application takes about five minutes but we will ask you for a deposit to cover the VAT okay let's start with the bonnet and then we can work away from there it's worth mentioning that if you are watching this video and you think I've missed something or if you'd like to see something in a little bit more detail please just ask it's not a problem I can do that for you at any time right so the bonnet and hopefully you can see from this it's in great condition um, it's really very nice and clean. There's no nasty marks or dints, nothing detrimental to it at all. There's a couple of stone chips, but you know, it's 2019. It's not a brand new vehicle. It's done 70,000 miles. It's going to have a couple of little bits, but they're nothing. Um, to give you an idea. Right, so driver's side headlight and front bumper will work our way around. You'll see. Um, it's in really great condition again there are a couple of very small stone chips but there's nothing really very serious at all um great condition throughout you'll notice that it's got the parking sensors on the front as well um and obviously it's got that really nice looking front end what a great truck and on, it's honestly it drives fantastic as well right so um passenger side front wing And hopefully you can see from that it's in really very nice clean condition there's no nasty marks or dents and it's in great condition throughout being very very picky and then being very very picky there's a very tiny mark there that might even polish out passenger side front wheel and tire um, as you can see it's got um, the larger wheels I think these are 20s yeah, the 20 is like an optional wheel. It is a really nice looking wheel. Great condition. There's no nasty damage. There is a couple of little marks. But if you look there, it's like a rub mark. I think it's just where the silver's come off. And there is a little bit of a mark there as well. It's a Bridgestone tyre. And I've not got a tyre gauge, but I would guess that there's about 9 mil of tread. So there's plenty of tread on it. Windscreen is in great condition. There's no stone chips or cracks there for the moment right i think the easiest way so let's start by going over the pillars of the vehicle you can see that there's no nasty marks or dents in really nice clean condition and the roof is also the same before we go down the passenger side i always like to have a quick look sideways on you can see then uh, there's no misalignment of gaps everything looks spot on there's no signs of any historic paint or anything like that it's just nice and it's in nice condition passenger side mirror back again nice clean condition there's no damage and the mirror is intact right let's go down the passenger side You'll notice it's got the optional side steps. Well, I'm not sure the optional on a V6. I think they're just standard, but great condition. Look really well, and it really offsets it against the vehicle, makes it look stand out really well. Hopefully, you agree. Um, I can't see any nasty marks or dents. There's nothing really at all to shout about. Very nice and clean. Just to make sure we're not missing anything. Little marks there, look on the bottom. Nothing serious, but they are there. Um, no other marks or dents I can see. So, um, I always like to look at this part here because obviously you get a decent idea whether it's a good match of the paint on the canopy. My suggestion would be I think that canopy's probably been on from near, it looks like factory paint. Um, it's a, a phenomenally good match, if not. Rear quarter. 
and again it's in great condition and hopefully you can appreciate from that the canopy itself obviously it's, it is a it's a lump of fiberglass at the end of the day but um, it is with the vehicle so it's worth looking at it is in nice condition a couple of little tiny bubbles there I think that's just from imperfections in the paint that's come out over time but it's in nice condition I think it's a truckman on this one yeah it is a truckman top it's got the highlight brake light and it's in nice condition throughout it looks like it's got the sliding side windows we will have a look inside when I get to that part right so passenger side rear wheel and tyre and again the wheels in great condition there's no damage the tyre is again a Bridgestone and again lots of tread I, I, it's a guess 7 mil ish passenger side rear tail light is in nice clean condition there's no damage there is a small mark on it there not detrimental it's not cracked there's no misting spot on condition right so rear bumper Always nice to look at the chrome bit first because obviously any dints or anything will show up on there quite badly. There's nothing to show. It has got the optional parking sensors on there as well. Tailgate. And again, it's in great condition. <clears throat> and there's no nasty marks or dents. Nothing obvious anyway. Let's have a close look. There is a tiny mark there. You can just see that. And there's another little tiny mark there as well but nothing other than that and the plastics on the top are in great condition it has got a tow bar um, it's got the later style electrics so back in the back there are a couple of little marks on the top nothing serious just obviously part and parcel of having a canopy sitting on there for a while it's got, that got soft open no it hasn't so uh, obviously we opened up the um, pneumatics on the canopy lid are good they work really well <clears throat> it has got a bed rug in the back um, I would guess that there's probably been dogs in the back of there at some point it's not bad it's, it's got a few signs of wear but it's nice to have one of those in there they're not cheap when they're new and obviously if you're going to put dogs in the back of it it just gives them a little bit of level of extra comfort in the actual canopy again it's in nice clean condition there's a few marks but nothing serious in fact it's got the led lights yeah it's in good all-round condition obviously the good news about having one of those in the back it does show you that it's been used as a car and not as a van so you know it's obviously been used carefully which is nice to see right so let's go down the driver's side tail light again is in really nice clean condition there's no damage there's no misting everything looks spot on let's look at the rear quarter and again it's in fantastic condition there's no obvious signs of any damage there's no marks nothing to shout about at all it's in nice clean condition driver's side rear wheel and tyre again the wheels in great condition and it's a Bridgestone tyre and I'd say it's matching tread depth to the opposite side right so let's go down the pillars again and again it's in great condition there's no damage the roof's nice and clean this side as well and again there's no damage right so let's have a quick look at those gaps and hopefully you can see from that there's no misalignment again everything looks spot on and doesn't it look in great condition as well right so let's go down the driver's side there's nothing obvious let's have a couple of passes make sure we're not missing anything and it's in nice clean condition there is a very small dent there I don't know if that's going to show or not it is tiny but that's probably just me being picky there is a little a little one there as well but again you'd have to really go looking for it to see it other than that I can't see anything mark down there as well a little tiny mark there right 
driver's side mirror. Mirror back's in great condition, as is the mirror. And driver's side front wing. And again, it's in great condition. No signs of any obvious damage. Everything looks really nice and clean, as it is throughout. So, final one. Driver's side front. Wheels in great condition. It's a matching tyre, so it's a full set of Bridgestones all round. And I'd say that it's the same tread depth as the opposite side. So, um, each axle's got the same amount of tread, but loads of tread all round. Full set of Bridgestones all round as well, which is obviously great news. It shows you that it's been cared for. They've not skimped on tyres. It's got great service history. And I'm sure you'll agree it's in fantastic condition throughout. Right, so let's have a look inside. More of the same, it's in great condition to be honest with you, but let's go through the motions, I'll show you everything and then obviously you can make an informed decision from there. So, driver's side door card and again it's in great condition, there's no nasty marks or dents, there's no unexpected wear, everything looks nice and clean. On the driver's side armrest you've got your electric windows times four, your window lock, heated windows and obviously your mirror control from there. Up above is your door lock obviously the doors open so uh, right so it's got the optional ergo comfort seats really nice to see um not cheap when they were ex i think they were over a thousand pounds as an optional extra so you know this vehicle when it's been specified has really been taken care of they've not scrimped on it they've put all the money into it to make sure that it's the vehicle that it is you can see today um so yeah fully electric seats work as you would expect And then obviously you've got the optional comfort, which obviously bumps the, the bolsters and everything up. So you get full comfort on that. And the seat extends out as well if you've got longer legs. So yeah, really nice. It's also got the optional Amarok overmats all around. And obviously all the carpets are in great condition as well underneath. Right, so let's have a quick look inside. Um, keys. There are, um, there's actually two full size keys and then there's two keys for the canopy as well. So it's a full set of keys, proper keys as well. Let's start it up. Foot on the brake, twist the key, starts. Fires into action straight away, no issues. Again, you can see from the inside, there's no stone chips or cracks on the actual windscreen. And the dashboard, is in again it's in lovely condition it's really very clean uh, there's no nasty marks that i can see everything just looks spot on um so these have got um i think it's an eight speed automatic gearbox and uh, volkswagen says it'll do about 35 to a gallon i think that's probably realistic to be honest with you it's a big engine but obviously having that uh, eight speed gearbox married to that v6 engine it does give you lots of decent fuel economy um steering wheel is in really nice clean condition uh, there's no unexpected wear uh, there's no signs of any stitching coming away it's just in really very nice clean condition a few things to mention it has got the sport box on this so you have got flappy paddles if you like plus and minus there, so you can drive it in that sense if you wish or obviously you can just drive it in a full automatic mode um steering wheel controls um basically you've got um you've got your screen on here basically you can see that you've got your different options on that and obviously you've got all your different factory settings if you wish to go on through that so basically that side there is for this screen and then this side here is um, you can see your media center so put it onto radio if there's any signal here wow that's loud but anyway hopefully you can hear the speakers sound great there's no distortion everything sounds really very well um so basically yeah that that side there controls this 
in your media center so you've got different options you've got your mute button etc cruise control is just here um what else as you can see there's no warning lights on the dashboard other than the fact that the handbrake's on i'm not wearing my seat belt and the fuel's a bit low um what else passenger seat i'll look at the driver's seat in a second bolsters are very very firm to be honest with you i would suggest it doesn't look like they've been really sat in at all um seats are in great condition throughout actually and that's the same for the back as well um, the roof lining is in really nice clean condition um, there's no damage there's no nasty marks everything looks really very nice and clean um internally it smells nice as well it doesn't smell like it's been smoked in or anything like that it's just got a neutral smell um it has got heated seats in the front tell you what give them a whirl good day to do it it's nice and cold outside uh, media center it's one of those it's got apple carplay it's got android carplay it's got lots of different options one other thing i did find on this which i thought was really quite funky was the off-road option so um you can have uh, you know your different your, uh, options in regards to what you are it's a bit fast and furious but it's quite cool um so yeah really smart system works very well um decent screen for navigation um obviously you've got your app so you can plug your phone in apple carplay android carplay it's got mirror link as well um dab uh, it's got uh, AM, FM, and obviously pre-populated station. This for that. It's got obviously Bluetooth voice as well, and voice command. And you've got all the different options on there. It works perfectly and seamlessly. It falls right at the end of the day. You know, it's one of them. Um, everything works as you would expect. Um, Centre console. You've got two foot holders. Please give a command. Oh. Telling me off. Switch that off. Um, Centre armrest. Again, really nice and clean condition throughout no issues no nasty marks everything's really nice and clean as you'd expect um let's switch that off let's have a quick look at the driver's seat um, bolsters are really very firm material really nice and clean there's no damage comfortable seat really comfortable seat right shut that let's have a look in the back driver's side rear again door cards in great condition there's no damage over mats in the back as well obviously with cup holders in the back it's got a 12 volt socket the seats are in great condition um, they do lift up individually and you can obviously use that to tether them back if you wish to use that instead but the bolsters in the seats again they just don't feel like they've been sat in to be honest with you um i think it's been used as a car but maybe just to go up and down the motorway to meetings or things like that i would have expected um, obviously it's got phenomenally good uh, service history and the bolsters in the back and the bolsters in the passenger seat just don't feel like they've been sat in and obviously the the driver's one whilst it has obviously been sat in it's done seventy odd thousand miles um it's been driven carefully i think we can agree that passenger side door card again no signs of use it's in really very clean condition um, again, it's got the Ergo Comfort seats. Um, it's got the full control, the same as a driver's seat. Unusual to see. And obviously it's got the bolster support as well. Really very nice seat, very comfortable. And like I said before, a very expensive option when new. Overmats again. Again, all in nice clean condition all the carpets are really nice and clean and if you look at the seats you can just see they've not been used um, there's no signs of wear at all it's just very very clean passenger side rear again very very clean um, you know you get kids in the back of this there's going to be little marks, there's going to be signs of use. I just don't think it's been sat in. Really, very, very clean. It's got ice fix in there as well. Oops. Sorry about that. Camera's having a moment. We're back on level. There we go. So, yeah, again, everything looks nice and clean. Um, just need to pop the bonnet, which is just here, for future reference. So 
So bonnet up, under the bonnet, everything as you can see is in fantastic condition. V6 TDI, it's the one to have. All the fluids are clean and to the correct levels. Inside the actual engine bay itself and under the plastic cover, hopefully I can show you as best as I possibly can, but you can hopefully appreciate and see uh, there's no signs of any historic oil leaks. Um, and it's very, very clean. You could eat your dinner off it. Um, we do, people do ask you for clean on it. We don't, don't clean under the bonnets. I can't see the point. Um, at the end of the day, you can see that, you know, there's dirt. This is just as it's arrived. It's in great condition. You know, you see there's a, a twig or something down there. Look. It's, just clean. Um, it's obviously been maintained correctly and cared for, as you would expect it to have done. It's got full history and it's in very nice clean condition. Let's have a quick look underneath. <coughs> so again, you can see there's no signs of any historic oil leaks. Everything's nice and dry. Uh, chassis is in great condition. This is the exhaust. And everything looks as you'd expect it to, really. Um, see the rear diff? There it is. Look. It's in nice, clean condition. There's no oily residue. No signs of any weeping or leakages. Everything looks very clean and dry. It has got a steel spare wheel and the tyre is brand new. And I think it's a. I don't know what kind of tyre it is. It might be a Continental actually. I can't tell from there. I think it's a Continental, but it looks basically brand new. So it's obviously never been used. Oop. Okay, so hopefully I've shown you everything that you would need to see if you were here in person. And Probably a little bit more where we're at 22 minutes i do go on a little bit but i'd rather show you too much than not enough um to summarize superb vehicle in great condition fantastic service history and inside it's just a pleasure to be in nice and clean great price if you're interested please give us a shout look on facebook as well we've got extra pictures on there for you as well for the moment though thanks for your time take care stay safe bye bye